Welcome to a new video about the incredible stentor machine in the textile industry. Today we'll break down what is stentor machine, why it's used, and the working procedure of the stentor machine in a way that's super easy to understand. Welcome to Textile Vlog. Stay with us and enrich your textile knowledge. Cotton fabric likes to shrink and twist after dyeing. That's where the stentor machine comes in. Its main job is to stretch and adjust the fabric to the right size. It's like giving your clothes a perfect fit, but that's not all. The stentor machine also helps set the fabric with heat and adds special chemicals for different finishes. It's not just for regular fabrics either. The stentor machine is a pro at treating open form fabrics, making sure they're just right. So what does this machine actually do? Well, it's like a multitasking champ. It fixes any stretching or shrinking issues with the fabric. It sets the fabric with heat, especially for materials like spandex and blends. It makes sure chemicals for finishing are applied perfectly. It keeps the fabric knit, or weave, looking great. It controls moisture levels so your fabric isn't too wet or too dry. It stops fabric from twisting into weird shapes. It maintains the GSM of fabric. It helps the fabric dry properly. It even cures fabrics with special treatments like water repellents. Now we'll break down the complex operation procedure of a stentor machine into simple steps that anyone can understand. Step 1. Fabric Inlet We begin with the fabric entering the machine. This can happen after various treatments like mercerizing, dyeing, bleaching, or peaching. The fabric is guided through rollers and guiders and ends up on a fabric roll. Step 2. J-Box Sometimes we use a stainless steel chute called a J-Box to guide the fabric. It can handle a lot of fabric smoothly. Step 3. Chemical Tank Inside the chemical tank, we store essential chemicals for fabric treatment. There's a three-bowl padding system that actively works on the fabric. These chemicals help achieve desired finishes like soft finish, water repellent finish, and Teflon finish. Step 4. Bianco Unit This unit is like a control center. It manages any fabric skewing or bowing using rollers. When bowing takes place in a downward direction, these rollers adjust upwards to maintain equilibrium. Furthermore, the unit addresses skewing by allowing the rollers to move horizontally. Sensors can detect these issues and make automatic or manual adjustments to keep things even. Step 5. Gripping Chain After chemical treatment, the fabric needs to be brought back to its original dimensions. The gripping chain helps with this. It can either overfeed or underfeed the fabric to get the right width. Overfeed. Here, the width of the fabric surpasses the required dimension. So, the chain width requires lower than the fabric width. Underfeed. Here, the width of the fabric falls short of the desired dimension. So, the chain width requires higher than the fabric width. Step 6. Dry Chamber. Now, the fabric goes through a heating process to improve its finish. The temperature varies depending on the fabric type. For example, Teflon finishes need 180 degrees Celsius, while soft finishes need 130 degrees to 150 degrees Celsius. Burners generate heat and blowers spread it evenly. Step 7. Cooling Roller To cool down the fabric after the heat treatment, we use stainless steel cooling rollers. Cold water flows through them acting as coolers. Step 8. Fabric Outlet Finally, the stentor machine releases the fabric. Operators roll it up for the next manufacturing steps. The stentor machine is like your fabric's best friend, making sure it comes out looking fantastic and fitting just right. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more easy to understand videos.